welcome to Swindon's Railway Village. It's a rare and well-preserved planned model railway village, which was designed by Isambard Brunel in the 1840s to house employees at Swindon's Great Western Railway Works. The idea was to create a self-contained community with all the facilities for a decent life. Emlyn Square lies at the very heart of the village and from here branch off several delightful residential streets. The village was provided with shops, pubs, St Mark's Church, a vicarage, school and a park. It looks so peaceful here today, but in its early days it was actually pretty lawless, overcrowded and rife with diseases like smallpox, typhoid and cholera. Houses had no sanitation and water was supplied from the canal, which was contaminated with cesspits. Life expectancy here during this time actually fell from 36 to 28. Over the following years, more buildings were added to meet people's social, educational and health needs. The square is dominated by the Mechanics Institution, which was built in 1855. Today, covered in hoarding, it was once bustling with life and provided an indoor market, refreshment rooms, public baths and the library. Later, it was extended to provide reading rooms and a theatre. Remarkably, in the 1930s, the Playhouse Theatre at the Mechanics became internationally renowned, with the Times describing Swindon as the place to look for Russian opera. Plans are currently being hatched to bring this magnificent building back into use. This is the community centre, which was originally an armoury, but then became a hospital for the many employees who had an accident whilst working in the factory. This building is known as the Platform, and was originally built to house the workers brought in from Wales, but was then converted into a Methodist chapel and latterly housed Swindon Railway Museum, until this was moved to steam. Next door is the Railway Cottage Museum, which shows us how people lived in the railway village at the beginning of the 20th century. It is run by the Mechanics Institution Trust. Go to their website for more information about when the museum is open. Over the road, we have Milton Road Baths, known today as the Health Hydro. These were provided by the GWR General Medical Fund, which, long before the NHS was created, took subscriptions from the salaries of GWR employees to provide medical services for them and their families. In here could be found a dispensary and surgical rooms for doctors, dentists, physiotherapists and surgeons, along with slipper baths, Turkish baths and two swimming pools. The main pool and the Turkish baths are still in operation today, making them the longest continually operating Turkish baths in the country. We are now at the carriage works, where the GWR train carriages used to be built. The council is currently redeveloping this huge industrial site. A business hub for startup companies has already been completed called Workshed, and the Royal Agricultural University is establishing a cultural heritage institute, offering a range of heritage management courses. You can take yourself on a guided tour of the village and the works area, using this map, which you can download from the Heritage Open Days website then come back next year to see inside these buildings. As a preview, we are going to give you a virtual tour of the interior of the Pattern Store, which is located on the edge of the railway works and village and has just been brought back into use after lying empty for some years. It was originally built in 1897 to house the drawings and papers and wooden templates for the parts making the GWR railway carriages and locomotives. When the works closed in 1986, it became a bar and then a restaurant called Botolino's. It reopens this year as the Pattern Church after a complete refurbishment by the Diocese of Bristol. What makes this four-storey building unusual is it was built to be fireproof with a steel frame and minimal combustible materials. So all the loading and internal doors and stairways are metal. Now people can take a slide to get down. On the roof are four massive steel water tanks capable of holding 1.1 million litres of water. Exciting things are happening in the railway village at the moment. New investment is enabling neglected buildings to be repurposed and refurbished. Historic England have made the area a heritage action zone. Over the next four years, they will look to work with the council and other organisations on a regeneration master plan to revitalise the wider area. Come and visit. You may be surprised by what Swindon has to offer. <laughs>